Now we've come to the CDL to look at it next. Now I have to say that we filmed this before for a tank chat, but we're going to do it this time slightly differently to bring out the whole range of the CDL vehicles and to emphasise their connection with 79th Armoured Division. Um, the Matilda was the original CDL and it's amazing that one has survived. Now the whole secret of the CDL was the searchlight inside the turret. This was invented by a Greek chap called Mitsakis and he was working for a naval officer, Commander de Thoran, who'd started this whole idea of searchlights in tanks. And what you've got is an arc lamp inside the turret. It's about 13 million candle power, which is fairly bright actually. And it's a carbon operated searchlight and it gets reflected by parabolic mirrors inside the turret and then ultimately shines out through a two inch wide slot at the front that vertical slot, the other side of the machine gun. And that's fitted with a mechanical shutter that's going on and off all the time. And the idea was that you could dazzle people into submission. You use these things at night and you lit up the carbon thing inside and the beam came out the front flickering. And the idea was that you actually dazzled people. Now the thing is they thought this was very clever and they found that sometimes with a whole load of infantry approaching, the infantry lost all their bearings completely and didn't know what to do. So they found it worked very well. Though in practice, it's been discovered that not everybody's eyes are the same. And some people don't even notice this thing. So they found in the end, it probably didn't work that well. But that was the idea. Now the turret inside is divided into two compartments. On the left is the operator. He's a, a searchlight operator. He's got a Beezer machine gun he can use if he needs to. And then his other job is to put on a pair of asbestos gloves. Sounds terrifying. And to reach inside the other compartment, which has got the uh, carbon arc lamp in it, and change the carbons. They'd run for about 30 minutes. And you've got two carbons coming down towards one another, generating this flame which brings the light and after a while they burn out and the idea was that after 30 minutes the chap gets puts his hands inside with asbestos gloves takes out the old carbons and puts in new ones and hey ho they can start again if they really want to but that's how the thing worked in the case of the Matilda the electricity which they needed was generated by the tank's own engines the tank would park keep its engines running and use them to generate electricity through the dynamo and it meant that there was always a, a good source of energy for the light. Now there were actually three different types of CDL. The original ones, these Matildas, were first used and they had a special place up in Penrith or near Penrith anyway at Lowther Castle in Cumbria and they went out at night on the hills around there and test their lights. And they used to say that lorry drivers on long distance haulage going over the Cumbrian hills would spot these flickering lights in the distance. But obviously they didn't know what they were for, they never said anything. And the whole thing was surrounded by secrecy to an immense extent. And the idea was to keep it as secret as possible. But they in fact made the thing so secret for instance, a chap turning up at Lowther Castle to work on tank, and he was told until he'd signed the Official Secrets Act, he wasn't allowed to even look at them. And they were therefore kept very hush-hush. And the whole thing was so secret that a lot of senior commanders in France didn't even know that these things existed. So in operations where they could have used them, they didn't. And as a result, they were never used in normal kind of action as they'd been intended in the first place. Now there were three different versions, as I say, the original one, the Matilda, they then produced some on the Churchill. What they were trying to do was create a more heavily armoured turret on a roomier tank, so Churchill hulls were used instead. There was only ever one regiment of Churchills, 152 RAC, which was one of the old um, King's, regiment, King's own regiment from Liverpool, one of the battalions from that. And they formed 152 Royal Armoured Corps, which was an armoured regiment. 
and they were put into Churchill CDLs. But the pictures of those are very, very rare. I've never seen one at all of a Churchill CDL. They are hard to find. But um, after that, as the idea caught on, they used the grant, the American M3 medium, and they did it for two reasons. One is they liked the extra height that the grant had, which gave them a much better effect to the beam. And they also liked the fact that in the grant, you could still use the hull heavy gun. It had a 75 millimeter gun in the hull and they retained that so that you still had some offensive capability. Because if you look at the Matilda here, apart from that machine gun, it's got no other weapon at all. The Americans adopted the system, they called it the shop tractor and they used the same searchlight. We did produce one CDL later on attached to a Centurion tank. But um, after that, it just fades away and disappears. You never hear them again. Now, they only used them, as far as we know, on two occasions in Europe. Once was with the, um, the, during the crossing of the Rhine, where they used the lights to scan the river. And the idea was that you then fired at anything that looked like a, a mine floating down or a, a chap in a sub-aqua kit going down to blow up a bridge. And that was one idea they had with them, but they only used them there on the Rhine and on the Elbe. They were also used briefly in India during a riot in Calcutta, apparently. They stationed at the end of the street and tried to dazzle the crowd into submission at the other end, and that didn't work either. But they, they were the only times anyone's ever recorded them being used in any sort of action at all. Whether people didn't know about the CDL or rather afraid of it, I don't know. But there was definitely a, um, not much effort made to, uh, to use them, not in their proper fashion anyway. In fact, by the time of the Rhine crossing, the regiments that had been sent to France with CDLs had given them up and they'd all been put out of, all, of circulation and they had to be resuscitated for the Rhine crossing. So they only used a squadron to watch the river. But that's how they were used, and that's the only time they were used. I think they were almost too secret, and I think that's one mistake they made when they first invented them. But they're very clever machines otherwise, and quite unique. The um, regiments of the CDL, and the CDL actually stood for Canal Defence Light which they say is a code name. I often wonder if it wasn't to do with the defence of the Suez Canal, but who knows. And they did have a couple of regiments of Matilda CDLs in the Middle East, which may account for that. But they were all formed into 35th Armoured Brigade, which was part of 79th Armoured Division, and that's how they operated. But it was almost too late by the time they came round to using them.